We are live, ladies and gentlemen, coming to you from the Orlando Hotline Center that in its decades and decades of history has never sold out. <laughs> How many? <laughs> hey, folks. You know what? When we come back from break in the next segment, because some stations don't carry this segment, I'll ask that question. But uh, I'm curious. How many years has this been here? 50 plus years, it's never sold out, and it is a sellout uh, crowd here tonight. Uh, we've got the doors uh, open and people starting to file in. We're about uh, two hours away from the kickoff uh, of my speech in a documentary film. I'm going to premiere uh, and a lot more here in Orlando, uh, 810. <laughs> And the great crew that's here. I really enjoy all the shows that are on the air here. I really like this affiliate. And I like the fact that the uh, program director and station manager, Carl, uh, actually is the type of guy that will actually call people up and talk to them. So he's an interesting fellow. I had to come out here and meet him. And about six months ago or so, I said, yeah, I'll come out there and uh, you know, speak to you guys. And uh, because he asked. And now it's got me in trouble because we've got over 100 AM and FM affiliates now. And they're all saying, you will come to our town. You know, we're on in Tampa, we're on in three or four other stations in Florida. They're all like, why are you not coming here? Well, I will not allow the TSA when I'm with my family to grab their genitals. That's, I'm un-American. In America, the new American flag will be someone's genitals being squeezed, I guess. No, I'm serious. Like an ostrich having his genitals squeezed. Excuse me, I'm not trying to be funny. It's disgusting. Uh, and so I, I'm driving in an RV, so I barely got enough time to then race back to Austin. So I spoke in Dallas. I'm speaking here. It's kind of a beta test. But I do intend to try these trips every two months or so and try to visit five or six affiliates on each swath uh, through the country. Uh, but in the future, I probably won't bring my children with me on every trip because, let me tell you, that turns into a three-ring circus. Your wife, your three children, uh, and the two French bulldogs uh, hurtling down the road. All right. Uh, in the next two hours, I plan on getting some of uh, the local talk show hosts and also uh, We Are Change uh, activist group uh, from... Uh, right here in uh, Florida, who uh, they're in Pinellas County, a million people in that county just got the fluoride taken out last year. Uh, I plan to try to get them to pop in uh, some of the folks that were coming through coming up in the uh, second hour today. And I will be giving my speech blueprint to defeat the new world order. But after the break, I'm going to get into the news. Here it is out of the Jerusalem Post, also Ynet News. Uh, it's also in Haratz, uh, over in Israel, or Haritz, people always correct me, potato, potato, Haritz, Haratz, whatever. Uh, but here it is, U.S. to announce aerial blockade of Syria. Now, we heard that eight, nine months ago. It wasn't a war. It was just drones and jet aircraft blowing up the country and putting al-Qaeda in charge. And I'm told that I love the Muslim extremists because I don't want to put al-Qaeda in charge. Now, that's common sense would show insane. Uh, but uh, we're going to be breaking that down uh, today. It's a big deal. It's another war. And w what happens is the corrupt interests that run our country send in proxy armies, basically Saudi Arabian terrorists and others, Wahhabists, and they then attack. They then attack these uh, countries like Libya and Syria. And I'm not saying Gaddafi or Assad are good people. The point is those were stable regimes that were even working with the West in many cases. And then they put the extremists in and destroy the country and start ethnic and religious cleansing. And the Christians get thrown out. And that's what Al-Qaeda has said in Syria. They said, we're going to kill the Christians. We're not going to just kick you out. If we get you, we're going to kill you. So, of course, Christians have been there since the time of Paul. He was on the road to Damascus, you know, getting knocked off his horse. That's 2,000 years ago, roughly. But no more. No more because we have to put Al-Qaeda in to kill the Christians because we're fighting the Muslim extremists. And again, I'm anti-America because I don't want the TSA going in my pants and I don't like Al-Qaeda. But uh, there you go. So we're going to be breaking that down. Huge news. Another giant war ahead of an attack uh, on Iran as well. We'll be covering that after the break. Also, World Bank wants to control the high seas. And this is just Agenda 21 over the oceans. We're going to be breaking that down. And also, all over the U.S., England, Canada, you name it, parents are being arrested if their children draw images of guns. Uh, the nanny state is the enslavement state. It's all coming up today, the 26th of February, this Sunday. Stay with us. But I'm not coming to you from FEMA Region 6 as my Sunday radio show liner introduces me. That's uh, Texas under the uh, sixth region of the uh, FEMA command system uh, of the New World Order and NORTHCOM that is over the United States. No, I come to you from deep in the heart of Florida, Orlando, 
where they've got the where they've got the big NASCAR uh, race going on right now. And they've also got Obama here for the NBA All-Star Game. But I am here uh, to give a speech after the radio show to a capacity crowd of over 1,000 people. They tell me that this uh, Orlando High Life facility was built in the late 1950s, more than, more than 50 years ago and that it has never sold out this very nice auditorium uh, in here. But tonight is different. In fact, they're even selling overflow tickets to the, sp to the broadcaster sports boxes uh, up above us. So that shows that liberty and freedom are popular and you can't suppress the signal of human destiny and human desire to not be slaves, just like even if they engage in election fraud and block Ron Paul, it doesn't matter, he really is still winning. Even if he doesn't win the presidency, he wins by getting the word out. Now again, we just opened the doors, and I don't know, a few hundred people have come in so far to uh, hear the uh, radio broadcast and see it in the flesh. And we're gonna, again, watch uh, this fill up the next uh, two hours or so before I give my speech. And we are broadcasting to uh, millions of people right now as well, and also simulcasting video at prisonplanet.tv. I want to say uh, the great folks here at the uh, Big 810 uh, Talker in Orlando are just wonderful folks. I've met much of the crew, m uh, many of the talk show hosts, the local talk show hosts, wonderful people. We're going to have some of them popping in in the second uh, hour. And I want to say something here about all of our affiliates before I get into the news. I don't talk enough about the fact, several issues here that we are on over 100 AM and FM stations, despite how, quote, radical and dangerous uh, I am, as uh, much of the corporate prostitute media has said, it shows that freedom is an idea whose time has come, that more and more stations are picking us up. But still, to put somebody on the radio that wants the Bill of Rights and Constitution and will defend the republic 110 uh, percent that is unprecedented and so there there is courage uh, with our am and fm affiliates to put this on the air just like there's courage in the last two years for xm channel 166 to put the weekday show on uh, because as mark twain said in the beginning a patriot is a scarce and feared man hated and scorned but in a time when his cause succeeds, the timid join him because then it cost nothing to be a patriot. And that is certainly the case. And I just want to say the people that are here tonight uh, are the type of folks that are actually looking for liberty and freedom and who are involved. And I salute you for being here. You're awesome. No, I salute you. I salute you. Now. I want to get into some of the news, just huge news. All of it uh, is obviously off the charts and unfortunately is exactly uh, what we've uh, predicted would happen. But I do want to thank all of our AM and FM affiliates. I do want to thank all of our sponsors, our listeners, the program directors out there. I mean, take somebody like Mark Caesar in Austin, Texas, who now for over six years has had us on 590 AM that <laughs> it used to be owned by President Lyndon Baines Johnson. You know, that shows how far uh, the American spirit has come, uh, that our message of liberty is resonating across this country. And we are now reaching more than 15 million people in the aggregate every week. That is not a testament to Alex Jones. That is a bellwether, a gauge, a yardstick, a measurement of the incredible awakening taking place worldwide. Now, some of the news coming up. U.S. to announce aerial blockade of Syria. That's all over the Israeli, all over the Arab, all over the European, and in some of the U.S. news. Remember just four months ago, Hillary Clinton said, oh, we'll never attack Syria. And now they're saying, this is not a war. No, this is not a war. We're just going to start bombing them. 
because bombing people is not a war. Remember what happened uh, eight months ago. Obama said to Congress, hey, I don't need your approval to uh, liberate uh, Libya dropping uh, 2,000 pound bombs all over the country and blowing up their cities and now killing at least 35,000 people. They admit ethnic cleansing and putting Al Qaeda in. He said, I have the UN's authority and put out a public statement saying I get my authority from the UN and I do this for the credibility of the United Nations. Even if you were for the war, at least call it a war and get congressional approval. And Congress said, we love war. We want to vote for this, but you've got to come to us for authorization. And he told him, go to where the sun doesn't shine. I'm going to the UN. If that isn't treason, I don't know what is. He's saying our Congress isn't even a doormat. Our Congress is vestigial, ceremonial, and doesn't even exist. Does that make you angry out there? Let me hear your war growl. Let me hear it! That's not good enough, Private Joker! <laughs> now we're doing lines from, from Full Metal Jacket. I can't wait uh, in the next hour and 45 minutes as this thing fills up uh, for the kickoff at 7 when we get over a thousand people in here and roar. On three, I want to say death to the new world order, death to tyranny. We will defend liberty. So we're going to say death to the new world order on three. One, two, three. Death to the new world order. system doesn't like that. By the way, uh, I heard uh, Doc Holliday, who has the show on Before Me Mornings here on A10, our great affiliate uh, in Orlando. By the way, I forgot to mention the instant ratings. I love those. Now that the instant ratings uh, are coming in, the people... Uh, you know, meters where people agree to have a little meter in their car. They've also got billboards because all receivers actually transmit if they're AM or FM. And uh, since he's been going in the last few years, everywhere we're on, even little stations, 810's, you know, big blowtorch and always had, you know, pretty good ratings. That's why we took it from like number three or four to number one in the last uh, uh, instant ratings. Number one across the board. Ah, uh, what do you think of that? You know why? Because it's not those stupid diaries that quite frankly, the big industry secret is only the illegals fill out because they need the money. And I'm not blaming them, I understand they need the money. Uh, but uh, it's just, uh, that's why all the stations, you know, went to basically Spanish five or six years ago because that was the only folks on average filling out the diaries. Now that they have the instant meters in, they're actually finding out what people actually listen to. And we absolutely annihilated Lord Limbaugh right up against him live, head to head, dominating and smashing him. And we'll do it everywhere we're on if they'll put me on the field on big stations like 810. I will dominate neocon fake rhinos every day. And the system knows it. Let me tell you about neocon right wing gatekeepers, folks. And again, uh, Rush Limbaugh helped wake me up 20 years ago. I'm not even saying he's a bad guy. But he you know, says there's no new world order, no world government. While the head of the UN two weeks ago called for world government, world taxes over everything, jet travel, gasoline, money transfers, it's all over the, the Economist magazine, Davos, Switzerland, and he and others still make fun of anybody that talks about it. Like I pick up The Economist or I play clips of the head of the EU calling for world government or Obama calling for global government or his, or his staff, his, his, and they're like, Oh, that's that kooky guy that gets angry about sovereignty and wants to keep his guns. You know when we're going to start really defeating tyranny? When we stop letting the left and right gatekeepers control us. And the good news is, even though the left and right told us there wasn't a world government forming, we were able to expose that it was happening, and now we've got a good chance of beating it. I want to give you some good news straight ahead, and then huge news.